Well, greetings, and welcome back to Bellophone Labs Behind the Scenes. In this video, I'm going to show you how I made this little tensegrity model, which is a type of cable tension structure. The video will be part one of two parts, in which I will show you how I made the various pieces and assembled them. I hope you enjoy.
finding the midpoint of a round object in the vise, you put a little pressure on the quill and you move this until that little bar is level. And when it's level, you've got the midpoint. This is just a point, it's not a drill bit, so you, you need a round point to do this. See, goes back and forth, and when it's just level, that's your point. I changed out the spotting point for a spotting drill. Now the spotting drill is designed to go straight in right where it touches without taking a little walk around your work without you. Putting a regular drill bit in the chuck. Now I can go ahead and drill right through the center. I hope. Do -do -do. Go on in a little drill bit. You can do it. Oh, come on. I don't have this tight enough. I'm an idiot. I forgot to tighten the drill bit. I don't care. Who cares? Alright, go for it. There we go. Uh, let's take a look at this. See if I can get... Oh, come on, focus. There. It, it's pretty good. And there it is with the whole chamfered and rounded up. This is um, music wire, which is spring-tempered. I'll be bending the spring stanchions for the piece. First I'm going to put in the uh, different, the right size mandrel for the first bend. Oops. <laughs> This is called a cup burr. It's to round off the cut end here. There we go. And now I'll bend this loop the rest of the way. she goes. Oh. And just eef that last little bit. Poop. There we go. Whoops, I almost dropped it. Uh, give me that thing. Oh boy. Anyway, there's the first loop. 
change out the mandrel for a slightly bigger one for the second loop. And I don't care. There we go. Now I want to start the reverse curve right close right where that first curve ends. So I gotta do a little fancy clamping in here. A spacer in the loop and like so. It's important to get these all exactly the way the previous ones were so the curves come out uniform. And here we go. Ooh, wah! Round and round it goes, eh? To just about a little past 90 degrees. Something like that. There we go. Let's see how it looks. And there. Not too bad. Oh, making the first loop right about to there, a little more. Kirk. Now here's uh, the the first loop with a little back bend in it, so the eye will be centered. Now I got this little piece of a stick with a nail sticking up in a slot there. Get this in here, and I'll just slip this flangey thing in here, and here comes the magic. And windy, 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 windy. Oh yeah, like about that much. Sometimes you can get this to break off flush, so uh, let's see if I can do that. Hey! Cut that out. Once around here and back, and there it is. Now I'm going to use this gauge to set up the second bend for the other loop. I already bent it, but anyway that's how you do it. So I can get three pieces of uniform length. And round we go. About that far. And then a back bend in this loop. About that much. And check it once more to make sure the length is right, which is just about right.
And here we have it. And here's what that strut wire will look like in place, with the anchor screwed into the top and the stanchion fixed into the bottom. And in part two, I will show you how I make the rest of this thing. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Adios.